Hello? Hey, Pops, it's me. Yeah. I just made it. Uh, the flight was alright, I guess. Dad, I I'm here alone. There's nobody else here. I, I don't know, uh... Well, I, I mean, I didn't think I'd be in here alone. This is a... Uh, I... How am I supposed to do that? I don't... I'm all right, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna go pack his stuff. Somebody there?
Dude, ah! Whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry, man. I wasn't trying to scare you. Who are you? I'm Clint. I'm Bill's brother. Oh. Oh. I'm Chris, man. So, so you're Mike's brother, right? That's right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I didn't hear you pull up. Have you been in the house yet? No, you know, I rang the doorbell and uh, nobody well, answered. You rang the doorbell? I didn't hear the doorbell ring. Yeah, yeah, and then I tried the, the key in the plant. It wasn't there. The door was locked, so I thought I'd uh, come around back. The front door was locked? Yeah. I didn't think I'd lock that. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I think maybe I'm just losing my mind a little bit. <laughs> I can see why, coming in here all alone. I took some balls coming in here. What is that? These are strange. How long you been here? Uh, about an hour or so. They really had a nice home. Let's let some light in. That's better, huh? Maybe we should uh, go outside, get some fresh air. Yeah. He cut his own throat. I know. How could he do something like that? Can't think of any reasons. Did you ever see any signs? Shit, no. I mean, I don't know. I guess I didn't talk to him as much as I should have. What about you and, uh... Bill? Were you and Bill close? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see this coming? No. I didn't talk to him about three months, though. But you were close? Yeah, I'd been away for a while. Man, I wonder if they started some kind of cult or something. Why? I don't know. It's, it's like they all did it on the same night, you know? And I found some strange books in Mike's room. Uh, supernatural shit. Seriously, just walked out. Ma, you're being hysterical again. You are. Ma, I couldn't have called you in earlier. I just walked in. I gotta go, Ma. Look at hysterical. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Must be the other brothers, huh? That's right. Chris, right? Todd, Brett's brother. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Makes you Clint. That's right. Yeah, Todd, good to meet you. Listen, guys, let's start off by saying I'm it's really sorry for your loss here. This is, this is terrible. You too, man. Does this place have internet access? I have the faintest idea. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, uh, I think I did see a computer in there, but I don't know. It. Yeah. Let me go ahead and get started. It was nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice guy.
Yeah, I just walked in. Yeah, both the other guys are here. No, Mom, I can handle this. while ago. I tried, but I, I couldn't make him stop bleeding. I found Brett hanging in the shower. He's already gone. I'm alone now. This night feels like an eternity. I don't know if I can make it. I'm gonna hide this journal. I don't want some asshole to find it. I hope Clint finds it. I've never felt it so dark. I hope this. Listen to that crap in there. Uh, I don't think he really likes to think. Uh, hey, I was thinking about cooking up some food. Are you hungry for anything? I guess I am getting a little bit hungry. 
What do you have in mind? We have some stuff in the freezer. It's just going to go to waste. I figure we might as well use what we can. Uh, there's a supermarket a block away. We can get whatever else we need there. Sounds good. Nice. It's hot. So, uh, what do you do for work? I shot. I'm in uh, computers. Oh, yeah? You uh, make programs or websites or something? I'm sales. Huh. How's that? Pretty good money? Computer sales? Yeah, it's great money. Hmm. Me and my dad own a painting company back in Jersey. Hello? You guys want to eat? No way. I'll eat. I'd bend her over so fast, man. <laughs> it's Brazil, huh? Shit, man. This is my first time west of the Mississippi. That's a good thing. Clint here was just hiking the mountains of Brazil. So, uh, <clears throat> how long are you in Brazil? Three months. Three months? Damn, that's a long vacation. I was supposed to be there for six months. I came back for Bill's funeral. Three amazing months, and then one day I wake up feeling like shit. You know. First shitty day in three months. So, uh, 
I thought I'd call my family. It might make me feel better. Dola killed himself the night before. He stabbed himself in the heart. Hey, would uh, either one of you guys be interested in smoking some of this? Shit, yeah, I'll smoke some of that, man. Thank you. Yeah. I used to in college, but you gotta grow up at some point. What's going on here? Who are you? Well, I own this house. Are you the brothers? That's right. Well, I don't want any more trouble. I've had enough trouble with this house. I think it's best to just pack up and leave. Well, we'll be out of here by the end of the weekend. <laughs> you, you fellas aren't planning on spending the night here. Well, I am. Chris is. <laughs> I just don't think that's a very good idea. I don't want any more trouble. And hey, neither do we, so you don't have anything to worry about. Now listen. I think it's best to just leave. Well, uh, since our brothers had a week left on their lease, I believe we have a right to be here. But you don't have anything to worry about. There's not going to be any trouble. And we appreciate everything you've done for our families. Fellas, there's something wrong here. Always has been. But it's different now since your brothers. Since that night, I can't stay here alone. <laughs> Not no. Think you know everything. Well, I don't think it's smart to stay. <laughs> really don't think I've lasted in two weeks. So what's with the shadows on the wall? The uh, woman, the little girl. You know, it's funny you bring that up because I wanted to talk to you guys about that. afraid that I asked. I found this in my brother's room. What is it? Well, you know how you said you wish that our brothers had left us a note? Well, I think they did in a way. What are you talking about? This journal is a record of our brother's uh, experiences in this house, up to and including the night that they died. What does it say? I mean, what happened that night? I don't know. I didn't get to that part yet. I got about halfway through and I thought I'd share it with you guys. How could you not read the end? The ending's no good if you haven't read the beginning. Read the end? Not yet. What did you mean, experiences? Our brothers were involved in something very interesting here, I think. Here, read this. Tragedy last night in the East Valley, when a Tempe woman and her daughter were brutally murdered in their home. 27-year-old Elizabeth Hauser and her 5-year-old daughter Anna were beaten to death by Hauser's estranged husband, Milton Hauser, who's also the girl's father. Police arrested Hauser after responding to a domestic disturbance call by a neighbor. Hauser confessed to the murders and told police that he had buried the bodies in the garden. So what? Look at the picture. That's this house. So what? Okay, look. So many strange things have happened since we moved into this house a month ago that we've decided to keep this journal to document any odd occurrences. We've joked a lot about this place being haunted, but now I, for one, am convinced that it really is. Brett seems to agree, and I think that Mike is coming around. What the fuck are you talking about? Look, our brothers were convinced that this house was haunted. Haunted by the ghost of that woman and her daughter. <laughs> What's so funny? Are you kidding me? Is it really so hard to believe? Look, why don't we just read this journal from the beginning and just see what it says? I don't have time for this. <laughs> Look, I've read part of this. It's not just about strange noises. It has our brothers' thoughts and ideas in it. It gives us a chance to know our brothers in a way we never did before. Yeah, we could sit around and listen to their collective descent into madness. It's just not my idea of a good time. I'm gonna go hook up with my friend. Thanks for dinner.
So you're telling me nothing strange has happened since you've been here? How about you? Uh, I mean, that is a little hard to swallow. Ghosts, I, I, you know. I, What's up, bro? It's Todd, man. Yeah, so what's up, bro? Well, I'm in town, man. Where are we going? Yeah. You forgot, man? Well, that hurts, man, but shit, here I am, so where are we going? You are killing me, man. Ah, you have no idea how much you're killing me right now. Well, it turns out that Milton Hauser pled guilty to the murders and was put away for life. He never said why he did it. He never said anything. Hey man, you uh, want one of these? Yeah. Thanks. You want to take a look at this? What's in it? Take a look. Can I hear it? I got out of the shower and felt like someone was in the bathroom with me. Worst chills I've ever felt. Is it psychological? I don't know. Brett. We were all watching TV when the door to Mike's room slammed shut. No windows were open. No one else in the house. Mike almost shit his pants. Pillows propped up around the bottom of the bed again. What does that mean? Bill. Interesting, huh? Hey, you guys know how to work this TV in here? I shut the cable off, man. I thought you were leaving. Uh, kind of beat. Thought I'd just uh, stick around. So, you all heard any good ghost stories lately? Yeah. 
trying to concentrate on something. Man, you can't be taking that book seriously. That book has some of the last thoughts my brother ever had in it. I'm taking it very seriously. It's got some of your brother's thoughts in it too. Or did you know him so well that that wouldn't interest you? No. Ghosts and ghouls do not interest me. I really don't even want to know what he was thinking before he killed himself. What are you afraid of finding out? I'm not afraid of anything. Well then why don't you listen to it for a little bit? At worst, it's going to tell you what you want to know. Which is what? That your brother was crazy. This was written by your brother. Can we hear it? Okay. March 18th, 3.21 a.m. I woke up to the sound of a little girl crying again. Thought about getting up to investigate, but I couldn't move. Never more scared in my life. Wonder if the others heard it. Brett. I heard it too, Mike. So did I, Bill. Read another one. March 20th, 5.06 p.m. Things are getting really interesting. After a little research, I found the inserted newspaper article. Could Anna and Elizabeth be ghosts? That's my brother. Okay, that's just an introduction. Uh, check this out. Okay, this is March 30th. I read in a book the other day that that some Asian cultures use psychedelic mushrooms to commune with the dead. After some discussion, we've decided to try an experiment. Uh, okay, this is further along now. The mushrooms are kicking in now. They feel pretty intense. No signs of anything strange. Well, nothing too strange anyway. Brett just came running in with a sheet on. Ha ha ha. Great visuals, you know, Young's amazing. It goes on like that for a little while. But, but check this part out. This makes me doubt my sanity, but I see them. As I write in this book right now, I see them. I'm afraid I might be hallucinating, but they're right in front of me. The little girl is in the yard with the dog. The mother is near the washer. They seem to notice me from time to time, but make no indication or attempts at contact. I wish Brett and Mike were out here. The mushrooms are overwhelming me. I don't want to move. I'll describe what I see. Their forms are unmistakable, but blurred, not dim, but almost over bright, almost like electrical impulses. They waver. I feel my anxiety subsiding. They seem peaceful. Mike just walked out behind me and screamed. He ran back into the house. Brett's still here. He sees them. Mike saw them. They're real. I don't believe it. They're real. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding, man. They're hallucinating. No. Three people cannot have the same hallucination. I don't care what they're on. Well, then it's fiction. It's a joke. It's something one of them made up. And it's bullshit. What do you think about this? I mean, I don't know. All I know is I've had a real uneasy feeling since I've been here. Well, of course you have. I mean, so have I. But what can you expect with what happened here? I mean, guys, it's all mental. Why don't you tell us about your experience today? My what? When I walked in the house, you seemed awfully spooked. What happened? I mean, I don't know if I'd call it an experience. A door slammed. Actually, first I heard a noise in the closet, and then a door slammed. It was the door to your brother's room, but when I looked, there was no one in there. It's the wind. Was the window open? 
I don't really It was open when I got in there. I mean, all this can be explained away. I guarantee it. Well, you know, I definitely felt the presence in my brother's room. Really intense chills. And I, I think I was meant to find this journal. <laughs> meant to find the journal. Wow. That's great. <laughs> I can't explain that. But man, the chills. That's just the creeps. I mean, we've all got the creeps. It's a pretty fucking creepy house right now. I think we're stupid sitting around here talking about this creepy shit. I mean, we should be up there. Come on. Explain that. You don't honestly believe you're gonna get me to admit there's ghosts in this house, do you? Forget it. That was just a pressure buildup or something. You're so sure I'm wrong. Yeah. Prove it. Prove it how? You want me to call somebody or maybe we can get a seance going? No, no, nothing like that. Let's just hang out. Hang out. Yeah, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, hang out for a little while and see what happens. We can read more from the journal. <sighs> Man, I am so tired. Okay, okay. Of journal. No journal, no journal. We can, uh, play cards. Cards? Yeah, but you have to agree to investigate anything strange that happens. Anything strange, like chains rattling, anguished moaning, that sort of thing? Yeah, water running, anything. <laughs> my pleasure, man. Most boring night of my life. You okay with this? Yeah, I'll be fine. Definitely. game of chess though. I'm free. No thanks. How about you? I wouldn't really know what to do. I can show you pretty quickly. You smoke that joint there, I'll play. Right. You guys want a beer? I'll yeah. take a beer. Thank you. Sure. Castles do. You know, on second thought, let's take another look at this journal. Come on, guys. This is our brothers we're talking about here. That has to mean something. I'm telling you, it starts to get really interesting after they eat the mushrooms. At the very least, you're not going to be bored. This is after their first mushroom experience. When we moved into this house four months ago, we would do our best to turn a rented house into a home, a place where we could feel comfortable and at least somewhat safe from the outside world. What we ended up getting, though, was something that would forever shatter our preconceived notions of reality. We were handed an invitation to a- You know what? I'm not sure I can listen to any more of this mind expansion shit. If you're gonna read that goddamn thing, read the end. You read the last part. This is from the last night our brothers were alive. Something strange. I got home today and felt some bad vibrations. Something's off about the house. Mike. I just walked in and I second that. Something's not right. Bill. Thank you. 
had a conference and decided that we needed to investigate this uneasiness we all feel. We'll write again when the mushrooms kick in. Mushrooms came on pretty strong about 20 minutes ago. No sign of our paranormal friends. Well, the power just went out. Can't explain it. As soon as the sun went down, everything shut off. Phone's out too. Guess we'll have to do the rest by candlelight. We all feel a disturbing weight. All three of us sense a new presence here. A dark presence. Mike wants to leave, but I think we should stay and see what happens. We've experienced so much already that I, for one, want to see everything there is to see. Bill, I'm staying too. Brad. All right, I'll stay. But I really don't like the idea. Mike. Holy shit. What? There's someone else in this house. What? I just saw someone. Hey! What the hell is he talking Better about? hope I don't find you! What's going on, Todd? Did you see someone? Yeah. Well, I saw their shadow on the wall. Whoa. What the fuck is going on here? You guys feel that? Feel what? A heavy feeling. I don't like it. I don't feel anything. Listen, I saw someone in this house. No, you saw a shadow. I don't even start with that. Ghosts don't cast shadows. Ghosts. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, no. as far as I'm concerned, oh. there is someone in this house. What are we going to do about it? We investigate, right? Right. Right! No, no, wait, guys. I say we split. No, not so I mean, fast. There may be an easy explanation for this. I saw the breakers out back. Let's go check it. Wait. Ah, shit. They're all on. How can that be? I bet the whole neighborhood's out. Hurry up with that candle. Well? I saw someone in the house. Okay. I guess there's only one thing we can do. Let's search the house. Ooh, I see we call the cops, guys. No, I don't think we should involve the police until we know what's going on. You heard the landlord earlier. There's been all sorts of trouble around here. You know, maybe the landlord's the one in there. Maybe he had something to do with our brother's deaths. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Guys, I think we should call the cops. Hey, will you relax? There's three of us. There's only one of him. Are you a man or what? Come on. Hey, you know what, Chris? I have a feeling the phones aren't going to work anyway. My phone's dead, too. Wait here. Strange. Hey, man, don't you think we should leave? Hey, man, don't you think we should leave? Let's just, uh, let's just take a look around. What? Well, no. Wait a minute. Go check the other room. No. 
I really don't think we're gonna find anybody. Keep looking. All right. I'll check my brother's room. Dude, watch that knife. Nobody's here. He had plenty of chances to slip out. Hey, don't you guys think we should leave? Hey, this is gonna come in handy. Handy for what? Listen, guys, I really think we should get out of here. Hey, you can leave anytime you want. I'm not going anywhere. It'll be all right. Come on, buddy. You need to loosen up a little oh, bit. Fuck. Hey, Chris, come check out this painting. <clears throat> this must be our brothers. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like us right now. I just got a great idea. What are you doing? I thought we'd see what the local newspaper said about our brother's deaths. What? Ah, oh, come on. Help us look, will you? I got it. This is it right here. Well, at least they made the front page, right? Yeah, my family would be thrilled. Um, a bizarre triple suicide early Wednesday morning as three East Valley students killed themselves in their home. Police found no evidence of foul play. The victims had apparently stopped going to classes in the months before the suicide, and neighbors say they rarely left the house. Police confiscated large quantities of marijuana and psychedelic mushrooms. No note was found on the scene. Makes them sound like they were nuts. I wonder what changed that night. I wonder what was different. Maybe it was the drugs, man. I mean, they were doing a lot of drugs. Mushrooms can be intense, but they're hardly going to make three sane guys kill themselves. I don't know. I mean, I've bugged out pretty bad before. I mean, maybe you are reading too much into all of this. Now you're talking. So you're saying everything in the journal's bullshit?
What is that? No, the question is, where is it coming from? It's gotta be coming from somewhere. It's kind of hard to play a stereo when there's no power. It's a portable with batteries. All right, where's it coming from? The attic. There's gotta be a hatch here somewhere. Okay, let's find it. Found it. Okay, who's going up? Fuck you. I got real bad night vision. No, you agreed to this. Go check it out. Okay. You fucking asshole. Asshole. Well, where where's the music coming from? I don't know what time it is. Man, I just put a battery in this thing. What time do you think it is? Is it so hard for you to believe that things are happening here that they can't be explained by your so-called logic? Yes. Ghosts and that crap? I mean, it's great for kids, but I just don't have time for it. Well, where do you think you're going? Can you save that shit for somebody else, please? I don't know about you, but I can't afford to live with no regard for the real world. No, that's funny, because I think you're about as far removed from the real world as a person can get. The fuck did you just say? What? You just said something about me. What was it? I was talking to Clint. We were having a discussion. Your name never came up. You were sleeping. What the fuck are we doing here? What are we waiting for? We're waiting for something to happen. No. You're waiting for something to happen so you can prove him wrong and prove yourself better than him. 
and you're waiting for something to happen so you can prove him wrong and prove yourself better than him while I sit here with my thumb up my ass. Well, you're both full of shit. No, actually, I'm here to find out what killed my brother. Why are you here? I know what killed my brother. My brother killed my brother. He was weak. Just like my dad's weak. Just like I'm weak. No, I, I met your brother a few times, and he didn't seem that weak to me. Neither do you. It's bullshit. You can see it. He can sure as hell see it. I've got no backbone. I've been dead for years, just like one of these fucking ghosts. What's the matter with you? We have to check this out. Are you coming? No. Don't stay here by yourself. I'm not going. Let me out of here. What did you see? I didn't see anything. Now get out of my way. I don't want to stay here anymore. No, don't just run out. Tell us what you saw. You can't keep me here. Now move! Okay, fine. Fine. But tell us what you saw. It's not right for you to leave without telling us what you saw. Nothing's keeping you here. You can leave anytime you want. 
What was it, Chris? What happened? I saw my brother. He was covered in blood on the kitchen floor. For God's sakes. He was there. It's mental. You're smoking pot, you're half Don't loaded. tell me what I saw. Okay, let yes. him talk. What happened? He spoke to me. What did he say? He called me a coward. He said, where were you when I needed you? Oh, Chris, don't tell me you blame yourself. I didn't even know him. My brother's dead and I didn't even know him. I want to read something to you guys. Oh. Chris, this is your brother. I drank mushroom tea with my breakfast and spent the afternoon watching Elizabeth and Anna. I'm living such a strange, peaceful existence. Now that I have no doubt that there's more to us than just our physical selves, I feel like there's so much more to live for. As beautiful as they are, I can't get over the sadness Anna and Elizabeth give off. They seem trapped in a way that I don't ever want to be. We've been given a rare glimpse, and I'm smart enough to learn from it. Okay, this one's my brother. I'm in the backyard watching them on one of the nicest days I can remember. Anna is sitting in the grass looking at the birds. They seem to sense her presence, but they're not afraid. Elizabeth is lingering near the washer. She seems to be clinging to the things that represented a woman's duty. Laundry, the sink, the bathroom. Sometimes they seem so sad, so lost, in a limbo. I wish I could free them. Todd, this is your brother. A huge breakthrough. Anna sometimes becomes horribly frightened. A lot of the times we'll find her hiding in the closets or under the beds. We never knew why until now. Anna was under Bill's bed with the pillows propped around the bottom again. She saw me watching, and she actually spoke. She said two words. He's coming. She obviously is talking about her father. Bastard. It's nice to know that that son of a bitch is still riding in prison. What makes someone feel so much hate? Self-loathing, I guess. When I hear Anna crying at night, sometimes it makes me cry. And does that sound like three guys that are going to kill themselves in a month? Quite frankly, yes. Bullshit. Chris, there was nothing anybody could have done because there were no signs. Something happened that last night that made them do it. I can't believe I'm still listening to this shit. I just had my fucking head exam. After all that's happened, you're still not going to let yourself see it. I can't see something that's not there. Are you leaving? I'm not leaving. Let's go to my brother's room to go to bed. Yeah, have a nice night. So what are you saying? You don't think our brothers killed themselves? No, they did. I just think they had help. Meaning what? Well, I don't know. All I know is everything was going fine here. Our brothers were onto something really amazing here. Until that last night when they felt a different presence. A dark presence. I don't believe in coincidence. Maybe we should read uh, a little bit more from that journal. Seems like morning should have been here hours ago. No matter how many candles we light, we can't escape the darkness. The mushrooms were a terrible mistake. They've made us so vulnerable to it. It's strange. I feel like I've gone through every terrible thought I've ever had, 
It's a relentless, ugly negativity, and I can't clear my head of it. Whatever we do, we can't go to sleep again. That's when it's the worst. That's when it creeps into our heads and exposes us to our worst fears. Our darkest, deepest insecurities are laid out in front of us with absolutely no filter. <laughs> So I was down there, and that's what I said. He was trying to make water run uphill, and I said, that's not necessary. I don't know how to do that. This project is not. We're 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 not.
You okay, Todd? What'd you see? I had a nightmare. You're so full of shit. I didn't see anything. Same thing happened when our brothers went to sleep. Same with Chris. It's all in the journal. It's all mental. Did you hear a voice? What did it tell you? What did it show you? What scared you so bad in the bathroom? That's the same bathroom your brother hung himself in. Did you see your brother? Can't you just drop the charade? Why deny it? You're not fooling anybody. You can't fool yourself. Not really. Just admit it. Face it. Wait, Chris, don't go. Are you insane? There are three graves dug in that garden. Now, I'm not the smartest guy, but I could do the math. Just because someone's dug a grave for you doesn't mean you have to lie down in it. I mean, can't you see this is the same thing that happened to our brothers? Yes, I can. And they didn't leave, and now they're dead. No, they got caught off guard. We know about the dark presence. We have the journal. Well, what difference does that make? All right, I admit it. I don't understand. I don't understand why you want to stay here. Our brothers believed in what they were doing here. Enough to die trying to protect it. Now everybody else in this world is either too goddamn blind or too goddamn scared to see what's real anymore and our brothers actually died for something. Can we really leave knowing everything we do? I mean, maybe it's his house. Maybe it's some sort of vessel for darkness and hatred and death, I don't know. But it happened 30 years ago, it happened to our brothers, and right now it's happening to us. It's exactly the same down to the graves in the garden. Maybe the dark presence is, uh, is that guy that killed his wife and daughter, Milton Hauser. But that doesn't make any sense because, because he's alive and in prison. What was that guy's name again? Convicted murderer Milton Hauser dies in prison brawl. It's the day our brothers died. It all makes perfect sense now. This piece of shit got the better of our brothers? <sighs> Fucking self-loathing bully. No way. There's no way that guy beat my brother. They're weak from the mushrooms and they didn't know. They didn't know. If they had known, they could have beat him. Is that what you want to do? You want to beat him? How do you beat a goddamn ghost? I don't know. But if I don't stay, then I'll never know if I could have found a way. It's easy for you to talk about staying. You haven't seen what we've seen.
do it. Wait, wait. Why? Who are you trying to kid? This is a world of shit. You really think you're making any kind of difference? Wandering around place to place? I'm just trying to, trying to lead a good life. A simple life. Maybe find some truth. Truth? That's the truth. We all end up in the same place. And that's the truth. And because of you, all three of you are gonna understand the truth very well by the end of the night. You think those two out there have any idea? They're way over their heads. And you're the one that made him stay. I'm not making him do anything. You are so full of shit. You're playing Todd like a piano and you got Chris wrapped around your little finger. And he's in serious trouble. He's stronger than you think. You selfish, self-righteous blowhard. You're the one who's blind. Blind to how full of shit you are, and blind to the fact that the only reason your brother killed himself is because there is no hope! My brother didn't kill himself. You killed my brother. You took advantage of his weakness and you beat him down. Just like you beat down your wife and your daughter. Did you really have to beat a little girl to death to feel like more of a man? You're quite a coward. How long do you think we've been here? I think I just figured something out. If we just don't let... Okay, guys. See, what I was trying to tell you guys before is there's nothing to be afraid of. If we just... No! 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 You right, man? Where's Chris? Chris! Chris?
Chris! And we've got to find Chris now. Maybe he left. I don't think so. Come on. Go that way. Chris. you're about to do right now. Get back! You think you're better than me? I'll fucking cut you! Chris, don't let him into your head. Don't let him take control. Don't let him beat you. Everything he says is true. So you're fucked up. We're all fucked up. You self-righteous blowhard! I don't want your help! Stay away from me! Go! That way! Fuck away from me! Don't you fucking corner me! We're trying to help you. Put it down. Put the knife down and we'll leave. We'll leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Todd would think of all this. We haven't been close for so long. It's hard to remember that I have a brother sometimes. When did he become so corrupted? He'd still think of us when we were kids, though. He didn't care what anybody thought. God, I used to work with him. I have to hope that that spirit is still alive in him. Maybe I should call him up. Tell him it's not too late. He'd probably tell me to snap out of it. But maybe not. Maybe he's looking for help. I'll call him regardless. I'll just tell him that I still love him. Life's too short not to. Don't be afraid. He called me. I'll call him back. Chris, this is your brother. I wish Chris could see Anna and Elizabeth. He'd see that there's so much more to the world than he thinks. I wonder if he feels like I abandoned him. I saw what happened to Dad when Mom died and I got scared. 
I had to get out. I give Trish so much credit for staying. I don't think he realizes how brave he is. He sacrificed so much to watch after Dad, and he's never asked me for a thing. Don't be afraid. He can't hurt you if you're not afraid. I need to do something about that. I need to tell him that he's the noblest, most selfless man I know. <laughs> Don't be afraid! Don't be afraid! He can't hurt you! He can't hurt you. He can't hurt you. Come on, we'll chase him out of here. Go! the sun rise this morning. Haven't seen a sunrise in ages. I thought about all the insignificant things that used to preoccupy my mind and how hard it is to filter all the bullshit out. But it's worth the struggle. When I'm really there, fully aware, everything is so amazing. This pen in my hand, the ink on this paper, these words that are written, this journal that they're in. It seems so simple, but it's all so inconceivably mind-blowing. It's all that matters. Until I can truly take these things in, until I can see and smell and feel and hear all the things that I used to let slip by, I can't ever really be free.